This is not financial advice. I just hope you bought your oven mitts, baby, because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. Now hit that like button, show your boy some love. Hit that notification bell to stay tuned. Let's get straight to the point. Subscribe to the channel. And the first banger on the list is none other than AMC Entertainment. Take a simple AMC. Now, you already know what time it is, family. I want to see some gorillas in the comments, baby. Load up on them gorillas. Now, at the time of this recording, AMC is $19.40 a share. It might be different by the time you see this. And it's up over 19% on a day. It's up over 54% on a week. However, on a year, it's up over 3 hundred percent and it seemed like this is only the beginning baby now what i want you to do is hit that discord link so you could be up on the plays as early as we are and speaking of the discord family shout out to my family who got in on that beam global play from yesterday the discord you already know you hear it first beam global is currently up 15 percent and it was up as high as 20 percent today so shout out to the discord for that and hit that block five link because your boy is headed to get a whole bitcoin baby and we earn an interest on them and we've been loading up over our block five now let's talk about what's going on on with AMC now AMC an article just came out about it and it was from Reuters and they said this AMC short sellers lost almost a billion dollars again they lost 754 million dollars after the rally on Tuesday this was just posted Wednesday May 26 2021 at 8 43 a.m. now guess what these institutions these hedge funds they keep shorting this stock and they are losing billions of dollars just about every single day every time you turn around now what's important about this article is this is about tuesday's rally this has nothing to do with this going past 17 18 19 up now now let's go into it and look it says on that day it rose 18 percent or the day before and then it rose another 39 percent that does not include what happened today None of this article includes what happens today. It's about the previous day on Tuesday. And it says this, the sharp price increase can cause short position holders to buy back shares and then it causes a cascade and makes other shorts just have to cover their position too. So this is absolutely crazy what's going on. And it causes additional demand, which in turn brings the price up further. And now you just start a short squeeze. Now it didn't happen yet because family, this seemed like this is only the beginning. But let's break down some of the facts. So according to this article, when it was written at the time, it said AMC is currently estimated to have a free float short interest of 21%. So all of the free float is basically all of the stocks that are not locked up that you can actually trade today. And guess what? About 21% of them, but it's probably even way more than that. But about 21% of them, when this article came out, are basically being shorted and have short interest on it. Now, it said this, the short sellers lost $618 million on Tuesday, but then in the after hours, it jumped up to $754 million in the aftermarket. Why? Because the aftermarket, it ran up again. But I want you to understand, because I always tell you, don't invest in companies you don't understand and don't believe in, because if they dip, you already know how it go, baby. But let's break down why people are actually invested into this, because you have to understand the magnitude of a short squeeze. People keep asking me, Keenan, how high do you think this is going to go? How high do you think this is going to go? Let's break down what a short squeeze is so that you can understand what's going on with it. So I got a little diagram here for you, and we're going to break it down and keep it simple. This might be one of the simplest explanations, and I might leave out some details that aren't necessary, but one of the simplest explanations of a short squeeze that you probably heard. So now, it's this. Now, you got three major players here, and I'm gonna have a little diagram, and notice that they're buildings, but imagine that they were people. You got three major players here. One of them is a broker, one of them is a short seller. Our short seller is our superstar. This is the main person here. This is the main person in the middle. Now, then you have the market. So let's imagine that the broker, there's three people. The broker, this is your dad. The, the short seller, let's imagine that this is you. And then the market, let's imagine that this is your little brother. So we got the dad, we got you in the middle, and then we got the little brother. So you decide one day that you're going to sell your little brother 10 shares of a stock. You're going to sell your little brother 10 shares of a stock, but you know what? You think your little brother is kind of dumb. So what you're going to do is you're going to sell him the stock, but you know it's going to drop. Or at least you believe in your heart very strong that it's going to drop. So... And all of these stocks, let's say that they were $50 a piece and you got 10 of them. So you're about to make $500. So what you do is you sell those 10 shares or you're about to, to your brother and make that $500. But there's a problem. You don't have the stocks. You do not have these 10 stocks worth $50 each to sell to your brother. So what you decide to do is go ask your dad. Could you borrow some from him? Now your dad, the broker in this example, he lets you borrow it, right? And now you have the 10 shares, but you borrowed them. So you got $500 worth of shares and then you sell it to 
your little brother because you think he's dumber than you. You sell it to your little brother and then your little brother buys it 500. But what you know is that the stock price is about to come down. So then let's say that you sell it to your brother for 500. Now you got $500 in cash, baby. And then the stock price comes down from 50 to $40 a share. That means you get to buy it back. You get to buy 10 shares now for $400. Why would you buy it? Because you got to give it back to your dad. Your dad is somewhere saying, yo, I gave you 10 shares. Where are my 10 shares? They want the 10 shares no matter what they worth. They want their 10 shares. So you got $500 in cash. You just sold this 10 shares to your brother. But now you see the price came down to $40 a share. So you buy all 10 of them. Boom. Now you pay $400 to get the shares back. So you have the shares in your possession now, and then you give them back to your father, AKA the broker in this situation. Now, what did you profit from this? You sold it for 500, and then you bought it back for 400. There's $100 in the middle of that that you get to keep in your pocket. Now, this is how a short sell works. What happens when a short squeeze happens? It happens just like this. You have your same three characters here, right? But in this case, when you were selling it to your brother for that 500, and then you say, okay, this is gonna go down to 40. What if it goes up instead of going down? So now you sold it for 500. Your dad still wants those shares back from you. You want a time limit, and your dad says, I want them shares back. But guess what? The price goes up. It goes up from 50 to 60 it goes all the way up to a hundred dollars a share so now you just sold a thousand dollars worth of shares but you sold it for five hundred dollars because you didn't know it was gonna double and then go up so now you have to buy it back for a thousand dollars because you have to get those shares back you are now obligated to get those shares back so then you buy those shares back at a thousand dollars and then you have to return them back to your dad and you just lost double the money that you put into this so then but think about this with a short sell the loss can be unlimited. Now, if you bet that a stock is gonna go up, you could be totally wrong and it could go all the way down, but it could go no further than zero. Then what if you were to bet that the stock was gonna go down? There's no limit to how far up it could go. So when you sold these 10 shares for $50 each and then it went to 100, guess what? What if it would've went to 200? What if it would've went to 300, 400? You would've been obligated to buy it back at whatever price. Now. The thing about this situation is you are not the only short seller that exists. There are many other short sellers and the hedge funds. There are many of them who are shorting AMC stock. There are many, many of them. But when you end up buying this stock back at the higher price, you're raising the price up even higher. So then the other short sellers, they see that you are raising the price up. So then they have to buy the shares now and then they drive the price up and then the price skyrockets straight to the promised land now what happens here in a short squeeze is a lot of buys are being triggered and they have to happen just in quick succession let's see if anything like that is even starting to happen so what are the big dogs doing the big dogs are trying to cover those shorts that they got now look at this just one hour ago 160 thousand shares of amc was purchased at 19 dollars, and that was a three million dollar buy then three hours ago at 19 again nobody wants to buy this at 19 or mostly right unless you really ready to diamond hand this but these hedge funds they're not ready to diamond hand it they're trying to short it and then get in and get out but they're being forced to buy at these higher amounts when you may have gotten at nine you may have gotten in at 13 12 but now they're being forced to put the millions of dollars up because they have to return the shares they have to buy back the shares that they borrowed from the broker so now these are just the three million dollar ones let's keep looking at what the big dogs is doing just three hours ago again and notice how all these are happening in quick succession there was a 2.2 million dollar purchase at at 17 dollars this is actually more than three hours ago but i'm recording this and i took the screenshot but then look at this there was a 42 million dollar purchase at 1771 there's a lot of large institutions trying to cover their shorts right now and guess what AMC got a downgrade valuation by B Riley analysts who can't justify giving it a higher price target. And let's talk about what's going on there. Cause you don't know, always break it down and find out the root of this. So why are they downgrading this? Let's look into the institutional ownership of B Riley. Now B Riley financial has a ticker symbol R I L Y. And guess what? A known short seller Citadel advisors. They're on the file as recently as May 21st, 2021 for doing 
two things, actually three things. They loaded up on shares. That's the one in the gray. Gray means they bought shares and increased the position. They bought a put. That's the one in the middle. That's the second one. But they bought a call and they bought the put to hedge the call. Now, they buying puts and calls and they loading up on their position in general, which means they have ownership of the company that is doing this analyst downgrade so you got to keep your ear to the ground and make sure you're paying attention to that baby hit that discord link join the discord with us so you could be up on the play as early as we are hit that block five link load up on some free crypto baby but if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in index funds i love y'all take care